Hi, Heather. I'm a little bit late. Okay. Let me turn this off. How's the silence? <laughs> Hi, Leah. Hi, Matt. Okay. So the, um, the month starts on Thursday, Thursday at 7.08 a.m. And so 7.08 a.m. morning, so you kind of wake up and you're going to feel the spirit when you actually wake up because on top, on top is the, um, the metal and then on the bottom is the horse. And so the metal is that sword, it's the steel, it's progress you know, cutting through, get out of my way. Uh, it's the judge and the jury. It demands respect and uh, it's also coin, as in money, because elementally that's what used to be used is metal. Today we use paper as well, but we're talking original, what it actually um, was. All right, the other is underneath it is the horse. So with that horse, the horse is a restless animal to begin with. It's never boring. The horse is like this adrenaline rush, not afraid of controversy, etc. Okay. Hi, Jen. Hi, Heather. So on that, there's the metal on top, clear it, and then there's the horse and he comes dashing through, that kind of thing. So with the horse also, you're going to feel that restlessness. You're going to feel... You're not going to be bored next month, okay? So once Thursday comes along, you're not going to be bored. A whole month, no bored. And adrenaline, you'll feel it because this month, seriously, this month is just, yeah, it's time to go. Makes us all the weakest links. It's time to go. Hi, Darinka. So that horse is responsible. The, the horse is hard work. The horse has the good lifestyle and the horse loves everybody, basically, okay? Now, the horse is also a romance bar and the metal on top is actually a travel star. So with the horse, uh, fire, fire by nature goes up. So a plane goes up. What's up there is up. Uh, ozone layer, other planets, etc. Volcanoes go up, then come back down. Um Fire is also guns, fire is, you know, light. Anything that can be lit is fire, okay? Metal, on the other hand, is it's also planes because planes are actually made of metal, but it's a bike, a train, a tram, a car, uh, all of that. And as I said, it's money because it, the fire molds the money, which then means from a feng shui perspective, uh, and a pillar's perspective and the five elements that brings those two together as, as a marriage, that money means it's waking up. Ta-da! Hi, Bianca. So what that means as well is if you're going to sell your home, now's the time to sell it because I know you've been told it's dead, 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 dead. Can't be told that anymore because this week you would have already felt it because we had yang metal yesterday wake up money today's metal as well wake up money tomorrow's metal wednesday's metal then thursday the whole month is metal okay so time to sell and that's it whatever you want to sell sell it <laughs> because the metal is con all right so for those of you that have been waiting etc etc yeah it's time now, let's go back to the Feng Shui first. Cool. Okay, so with the Feng Shui, you need your six bells in the east this month and you need your six coins in the south this month. So the east brings you difficulties and obstacles and very lucky today, you know, you can just grab your phone and it already has a compass on it. So I'm just turning it off because no one can call it. Yeah. So it has a compass on it and uh, it'll tell you, stand in the centre of the home and it'll tell you where's your east. If it happens to be the front door, everybody is affected. If it's where you gather and sit, everyone is affected. If it's a wet area, 
let it drain away. I wouldn't, wouldn't even worry about it. The coins in the south, again, have a look at. Uh, this, by the way, is where the sun comes up. So you don't have a phone that has that on it, etc., etc. then you can see where it's coming from. The south is six coins. So six coins can be five cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, whatever you got in your pocket or in your wallet. And they don't have to be the Chinese coins. So they go in the south. If you want to empower them a little bit more, you can put them in water or salt water. Okay. But six coins on their own is fine. Cool. All right. What am I up to? All right. So elementally, the metal is the large intestine and the whole navel area. So navel, navel is the lower part. So uh, extra care, you know, there's reproductive system there, there's large intestine there, all of that sort of stuff, which actually means the year is about what goes in, but then the month is bringing it more to you, okay, more in your face, uh, I guess. Um, the horse the horse is the fire element and that horse is about the eyes and spirit so that's why you're going to when you wake up on thursday you're going to be awake wide awake like me when i get out of bed i'm like yeah i am i don't do that <sighs> anyway so eyes and spirit so spirit means you will feel you'll feel like a push you'll feel like I've got to act on it now. I've got to do this, right? Because the horse is part of three people, three animals. They are the tiger, the horse and the dog. All these three, when they come together, they actually make more fire. I think I printed that it makes more wood. I have to go back to that because on my sheet I've got that. It makes more fire, guys. Hi, Lorraine. Um, and so... With those three, they are they are the rescuers at the same time. They're the protectors as well. They're always on guard and they're humble at the same time. What a great month. So if you do have a tiger and you, or if you do have a dog, the horse brings things together for you so you act on them, okay? It's not I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, you know, not the gunner. Horse is not a gunner. All right. Now, with the metal at the same time, metal is, uh, it's distinguished as at the same time. It's the perfect face, it's the good look, that kind of thing. Handsome, beautiful, gorgeous, that. Then it sits on a romance flower. Again, charisma, charm, gorgeous, romance flower, da, da, da. So there's a lot of getting it on this month. <laughs> All right, hi, Janine. So... A lot of that this month. It's also a romance flower. I'll play it. It's how small I've gone. Anyway, then we've got metal. Now, the metal harmonizes, comes together, comes together with yin wood. So if you are yin wood, you'll feel there's a connection this month and you've got it happening at the same time. And so that, the, the yang metal with the yin wood makes more metal. So if you do have wood in the chart the yin wood in the chart and uh, the month is metal and it makes more metal for you if metal is a good energy for you then okay so look at what the aspect of metal is for you and then we've got the horse fire what's the aspect of fire the fire harmonizes with the goat so if you have a goat you feel again you're going to act my goodness you're gung-ho this month all right um the, on the other side of it, the yang metal clashes. Um, oh, the horse and the goat, if you do have a goat, the horse and the goat make more fire. So what is fire for you at the same time? All right? um, I don't know what those floaty things are. Yeah, that kind of thing. So anyway, they're distracting. <laughs> they must be good. I don't know. Uh, hi, Kath. All right, so yang metal clashes with yang wood. Now, <laughs> speaking of yang wood, yang wood is, uh, it needs that pruning. It needs that discipline. But at the same time, it gives it power. It's like a promotion. It's like a new job. It's like, uh, for wood people, it's like a new job. It's like promotion. It's 
you're asking for the pay rise, that kind of thing, okay? Yes, it is pruning you, but keep this in mind, and I say this all the time, when you prune wood, it fruits and flowers better, okay, elementary. For metal people, it's money. Start counting it. <laughs> so the money is on top. When it's on top, we get to see this money, so it's pretty good. All right. Ah, uh, emojis. Oh, cool. Okay. I just think I've done something wrong. <laughs> All right, let's go on. With the hoard, uh, so with with metal people, it is your money. It's called a clash. So it actually comes to you. You're not looking for it. It just comes to you. Okay. Fingers crossed. Legs crossed. <laughs> okay. The horse um, clashes or is challenged by the rat. So if you do have a rat, just know that the horse, the month, is already challenging you. Hi, Leah. Um, it's challenging you. And then if you do have a, a, a rat, the month is challenging you and you already are challenged. If you have a rat, you're already challenged from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. every single day. But you're here. See, you learn to get over it. So that horse of the month, if you have also another horse, two horses, not in the same arena. So two horses, we call them a penalty. Yet, if fire is a favourable element for you, you're going to be fine. Okay? Okay, who am I up to? All right. Now, for uh, the horse, the horse is also the peak. The peak meaning there's nothing higher than the element of the horse, which is 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Hi, Annie. And that 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. means that midday sun, okay? There's nothing higher than the midday sun, true? And that's what that is. The horse is always the midday sun. You go to bed and the horse is a midday sun. You wake up and the horse is a midday sun. It's like that. Hi, Lil. Hi, my God. All right. Then we've got uh, elementally uh, for... The metal, think of the metal as the king and think of fire as uh, its charisma, its charm, it's all of that. So everyone's going to actually be very responsible this month and, as I said before, no more gunners. No gunners this month. Not going to happen, okay? All right. For you uh, or for fire, for fire guys, metal is a woman. For fire women, elementally, uh, water is a man. Okay? No, fire women, fire is women for water element men. Okay? Metal, elementally, is a man for a wood element woman. Metal is also a female, a woman, for a fire element man. All right. It does get confusing, but got the gist of it. All right, so for you, elementally, for fire people, I'm going to start at the top, fire people. So fire, there's metal and fire. So metal is and it's on top. So we're going to see that money come in because, you know, house, boat, caravan, that sort of thing. It's also dangerous. It's dangerous because fire, like you, every Tom, Dick and Harry, every aunt and uncle, every brother and sister are going to have a handout for some, some of that money. You've got to learn to say no. That's it. Too easy. I know I make it easy. All right. For earth people, if you're young earth, you know, it doesn't matter to earth. Earth, uh, metal is your expression. It's your talents. It's your skills. So earth you know, they're not very outspoken. So, ha, huh, surprise, this month, look out. Because it's on top. We all get to hear you now. Speak, darlings. We need to hear you. So that's what we do. We get to hear you this month. And there's fire. Fire is your resource. So it means you actually think before you speak. How good is that? Yeah. All right. Metal people, yang or yin, don't, either way. Metal people 
the fire is actually pressure on you. When you mold, when you add fire to metal, it molds you into something useful. No more gunners. It's like the firecracker is up the and you're off. So that metal is either pressure, promotion, uh, pay rise, whatever, all of that sort of stuff. At the same time, if you are asking for that promotion or you are asking for that job, because there's other metals and on top and we get to see them, there's competitors. And what competitors means is uh, it means that uh, people like, like you're going for an interview and you get in there and there's like 100 people for this interview, competitors. Family, friends, colleagues, everybody is a competitor in that sense, okay? All right, next. Got water people. So water people, the fire is, all right, and it's at the peak, guys. It's peaking. So you've sort of got to wait for a um, water people. If you get a day where there's earth and the whole month it's peaking, your money is peaking, then that's kind of on earth days is when you would go out there and get your tax ticket because we've got to see it for first and then it's the peak. It's like, yes. So it's kind of like uh, each element has a turn at certain times. So this month earth people are going to do the winnings. All right. So go Harvey's in there with an earth person. Too easy. Okay, so water is your thinking and that thinking is where are you thinking, what are you thinking about. You could change path in your studies or you change how you earn your money or you change how you spend your money or you spend, change how you hide your money. But, yeah, your money's peaking and you're thinking now about your money, not like before, okay, very different. Um you're more awake, you're more responsible this month. All right, last one is wood. So for wood people, that metal is pruning you, like I said before, but the prune is good for metal, uh, for wood, because uh, your fruit and flower better, amazing. The fire is you open your mouth and ching ching, it's like that. Because when you open your mouth, it's your talents and your skills, it's your expression, it's your Midas touch, whatever you say, and then that makes you money. So what you do, what you make, what you say makes you money. Okay, so it's just talk, darling, get it all off your chest, etc. Um, and that's it. The thing is, this is a new moon, a new moon is tonight. So write your wishes, your dreams, your intentions, all of that sort of stuff. Whatever, you know, whatever you um, want to write. So go ahead. Um, but keep in mind that the new moon is actually on metal and earth. The earth is the goat. The metal is on top. So that metal is about morals, etc., etc., And the goat on the bottom is endings. So it's a new moon and the day is about endings. And so tomorrow, tomorrow starts with metal. And that metal is the beginning of, it's the beginning of metal, not the peak of metal, not the end of metal. It's the beginning of metal. Metal is ching ching. Okay. So for those of you that are going to sell things, etc., etc., yeah. So um, I have I have Saturday off this week. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, hi, Sharon. Um, because lately I've been doing auctions on Saturday. I'm not doing the auction, but I'm there. If the auctioneer needs an animal, I'll draw one on him. Some of them don't want me to draw on them because they think I'm a witch. So I just do it on a piece of paper, put it in their pocket, and I tell them where to stand, etc. I tell where the client to sit, etc. And so, um, so yeah, it's uh, the door was opened and I walked through it. So, and you guys know I walk through every door that opens for me so this month for everybody there will be that peak that sun shining the door opens and you're no longer a gunner you actually go through it you will act on everything this month okay so any questions <laughs> 
That's enough. <laughs> no questions? Cool. Oh, we forgot the days. You, there was something. Uh, so the days that you need to be extra careful with because of the month, uh, this because of this month, you need to be extra careful on where are we here? On the eighth. So you need to be careful on the eighth, which is um, Saturday. So uh, on Saturday this week, you need to be careful. On the 14th, which is next Friday, not this Friday, next Friday, you need to be extra careful. The 20th also, the 26th. And then because July doesn't actually start until the 7th, so the 2nd of July, there's also a challenge for the horse for the month, okay? Um, challenging hours for uh, this month, there are two in the morning and two in the afternoon, or two midday, two midnight. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. is quite challenging, long lunch. And 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, at night, so midnight to 1, is also challenging. Hopefully around the sleep. Um, and that's it. I'm actually finished now. I'm positive I've covered everything. Yeah. Any questions? No questions? All right. You can go back and listen to it if you miss something. Um, I, I think I've covered it pretty well this time around. I haven't, because sometimes I forget something and then I think, oh, no, Jane, I just text it or whatever. Anyway, all good? All right. I'll see you guys during the week. Have a great week. <sighs> And a great month. Yes.